Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the BMW 840i M Sport Convertible uh, on a 21 plate. So we're going to start off first of all by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through just a few of the controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can, of course, see it's a two-door car with those 20-inch alloy wheels. And we're going to start off inside the boot area of it, first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically, as you can see. As we approach the back of the car, you'll also see we have reversing sensors. Given the fact that it's a convertible, a decent amount of boot space in here that goes underneath that section that you can see as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then, as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some of the controls from there. Uh, now that we've done a full circle of it, though, you can see, firstly, the alloy wheels are in pristine condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around the car. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On that far left-hand side, first of all, you'll find the fuel gauge. And then moving right, we have the speedometer, the rev counter, and over on the far right-hand side, the cool and temperature gauge. Uh, within the speedometer, we have a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, you can actually change uh, the information that's displayed uh, on that right-hand section using a button on the end of the stalk. Uh, so various, as I say, different menus, including this one, which will give you the total miles for the car. They are 14,801. In the center, you can see the satellite navigation being displayed. Of course, we have a main display uh, for that, which we will come to uh, in just a moment. If we back out to the steering wheel next, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control, speed limiter, and on the right-hand side, our stereo and phone controls. Behind the steering wheel, the minus and the plus pedal so that you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox, should you wish to do that. And then if we move over to the door, uh, you'll see we have a Harman Kardon uh, stereo system, uh, deadlocks for the car doors, and then this relates to the memory settings for the electrically adjustable seats. For both driver and passenger, you have two separate memory settings. We'll move over to the central screen next. Uh, this is a touchscreen, so you can access any of the panels that you see up here. You can get back to your home screen as well, of course. You could access, for example, your full color satellite navigation screen. You don't have to use the touchscreen though. As you just saw there, I went back to the home screen and the movement that I'm making on the uh, screen at the moment is being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial. The buttons that surround it will take you into uh, certain menus, but the dial, can rotate it will push down to take you into whatever menu you're highlighting it will move up down left and right as well you can get back to your home screen from there so for example you can access your satellite navigation you can pair your phone and you get into your media this is where you will listen to your radio uh, and it's also where you can listen to your own music as well uh, so just here you can see we've got bluetooth audio screen mirroring so you can project certain bmw friendly apps up onto this screen uh, and of course you can access your radio we have dab fm radio available up there as well uh, and on top of all of that if we pop the car into reverse a full color reversing camera and a visual guide to the parking sensors as well directly below that screen we have a second screen this is for your dual zone climate control you can adjust your passenger temperature your driver temperature you can increase and decrease the fan speed for the passenger, exactly the same for the driver. You can turn your air conditioning on and off, of course, or you can just hit auto. In doing so, the car will now maintain the fan speed and direction of the air for me, the driver, uh, to maintain that temperature. And you can do exactly the same for the passenger. You can, of course, turn those off whenever you wish to. Particularly handy in a convertible, we have a heated driver and passenger seat, both with three different heat settings each. Uh, the heating for the seats doesn't stop there. Uh, we'll come to the next part of that in a moment. Main volume for your stereo, of course. This section will open up. In there at the moment, we have the key for the car. So you need just to make sure the key is in the vehicle with you. And there's a button to start and stop the engine, which we'll come to in just a moment. We have wireless phone charging, two cup holders, a USB-A input, and a 12 volt charging socket as well. So loads of ways to charge devices from there. Uh, the controls went through just a moment ago. Uh, we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. 
plenty of controls down here as well, starting with turning the traction control on and off, the parking sensors on and off, and the stop and start on and off. Uh, this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. This button starts and stops the engine. So as I say, just make sure the key is in the car with you. Hit that button to start and stop the car. You can change the driving setup of the car to any one of these modes you'd like to put it in. We have an electronic handbrake. This button opens the roof, which we're gonna to come to in just a moment. Uh, I mentioned heating for the seats. Uh, here is the driver's seat and passenger seat. You can have hot air blow out onto the back of your neck and you can change how much blows out with those buttons. So I'm gonna show you the roof working next. So if I lift that button up for the roof, the first thing that will happen is that the windows will all simultaneously go down. You can see the tailgate section opening at the back of the vehicle there, and the roof will fold down very quickly into that section. If you keep your finger on the button uh, beyond the roof closing, the windows will also go back up again, which you can see them doing in the background just there. Of course, you can do those down if you'd rather. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the paperwork we have for the vehicle. In the envelope here is the spare key, so two keys in total. We have the V5 registration document and a printout of the car's screen. This is accessed, or this information is accessed on the main screen of the vehicle, which shows the pre-delivery inspection in 2021 and then services in 23 and 24 as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.